Here's a tip when you have one of these calculators. Notice on the back, right over here, there's a place you can actually put your name. Well, get yourself a dry erase marker and write in your email address. Okay, so you can squeeze it in there. And I say dry erase because if you make a mistake, you can just wipe it clean and try it again and try it again until you get it just right. Then you can actually find one of these things in on an office supply store, probably, or even better yet, like a 99 cent store. They're pretty cheap. It's an engraver. Uh, they can also find these on eBay, by the way. And what you do is just then just engrave over, engrave over the email address. That way, if your calculator is lost or stolen, someone can get a hold of you. If you don't want to put email address, put your name. Uh, I don't recommend phone numbers, but again, it's up to you. So that's something that I would recommend you do with your calculator. Now, another thing you can do with this calculator is once you have all these great programs and games and applications, well, maybe you want to share them with someone from class or a friend, neighbor. How do we do that? Well, you have several options. One is to get yourself cables. Uh, I have, here's a couple of different types. Uh, one is if it's a TI-84 to me, let's say to a TI-83. Uh, this particular one is from a TI-84 to another TI-84. Uh, another thing you can do is you can actually upload and download programs, games, applications using a cable like something like this. This actually comes with the calculator. Right? You can actually put this, attach this to your computer as a USB connection, and you can upload and download files. It's kind of neat. If you have uh, an 83, TI-83, uh, this is similar to the type of cable you're going to need right here. All right. Uh, they're rather inexpensive, maybe like $14, $15. And if you have an older computer, you will probably need a serial cable. And those are a little bit more expensive. You can probably find those at the, the TI.com's website. Another very valuable tip is your calculator, TI-84, comes with its own little CD here. Take advantage of it. There's actually in here, again, other applications. If something happens to your calculator, you can actually put the software back in the calculator. And most importantly, guidebook. Take the time to read the guidebook. There's a part one and part two. Part one is just a basic introduction that tells you all the different ways you can type in the different keystrokes in your calculator. You know, what's, what's the enter key? What do these keys on top stand for? The second, part two of the guidebook that's on the CD is a very detailed guide. It tells you exactly what each and every one of these keys will do and all the different options in the different menus. So if you're puzzled, well, what does this x to the little negative 1 power mean? What can I use that for? You can just look it up on the CD, and it'll tell you. Okay. Finally, on my website, I have a little movie that's called How to Really Use Your TI-84 Graphic Calculator. It's not an all-encompassing movie. It's just a basic guide on how to use the miscellaneous keys on here and how I will say the keys in my videos. So it's a good way to get started on using your calculator.